Ladies and gentlemen, the future is now. Fallout has joined the Mega family in their construction toy line, and I gotta say, the fit is absolutely perfect. While there are obviously some people wishing that this was a Lego IP, you gotta look at those minifigures and think that there is no better company to create a bespoke micro action figure that is true to form, actually looks like it's ripped straight from the game, Mega has nailed this. So they've announced officially now with Bethesda that they are producing this limited edition Fallout set. There are five collectibles inside and I gotta say, oh my goodness, it looks good. There are five different T60 armors to collect all in one box and we're gonna check it out. Let's look at my beautiful presentation. So Fallout Mega, there is no no match better made in heaven and what I just really hope from this line is that it's not a one and done deal when they had the Witcher IP it was just there for a day and gone tomorrow there was one set and this is the only set that's been announced so far I just really hope it's not the only one you can see property of vault tech it's all five of those t60 armors in one box now some people they just want one but listen this is 30 bucks I think $30 for this is actually super reasonable. It's like $6 per figure. I actually think that's pretty good value with the display stands and all the accessories, it's fine. I think $6 per figure, total $30. That's a job well done. And you can see how they all attach together in a second. I put this nice little presentation together. We got loads of Easter eggs. We got all the different armor coatings and where they're from. We're going to try and get into as much of the lore as possible. I'm not the biggest Fallout expert, but I'll do my best. I've had some friends helping me out. There you can see all five of them. The metallic effect on that armor is so good. And these are armors that you build on top of base figures, which is also great. They're in the same scale as Halo and other lines, so you can customize them together. You can see two of them there. The accessories look really clean. The paint applications look super, super clean. They always will on renders, but I still, you know, hazard a guess that these will be really clean in person. You can see two more of them there. The Sugar Bomb cereal is especially fun. I My biggest game was Fallout 4. Um, I think like a lot of people, I sunk countless hours into that, but it was when I was a child. So my Fallout lore is not up to date, but this one is my favorite, the Hot Rodder. Like that's so sick. Look at the flame decals on that thing. I want to customize and pop and swap that with the Spartan for sure. Everything apart from the base figure will be new molding. You can see the instruction manual there, um, sort of mimicking the Pip Tech Boy, the Pip Tech Boy, Pop Pop Boy. It's so dope to see the instruction manuals mimic the actual heads up display of the Pip Boy. Like amazing and you can see how they are just a base figure there's no human mask underneath it the helmet is one piece but that's totally fine and there's how you display them they can all interlock together and can be pulled to the side obviously it reminds me of iron man's kitting up room but like it, it looks great and honestly like i'm gonna get one of these i'm gonna keep my favorite one maybe the hot rodder maybe the brotherhood of steel and then i'll probably just sell the rest for like basically what i paid like six bucks and just like make some of the money back so like you don't have to keep them all and i think this will be a quite a limited run so give it like a few years and these will be worth quite a lot like this is not financial advice but every time mega's ever done a collab like call of duty like even teenage mutant ninja turtles anything the figures end up becoming really expensive over time because fans are continuously coming to this ip these two accounts you should follow immediately on instagram they help me out with a lot of the lore mega constructs news for all of your mega updates and mega constructs throwback looking at the old catalog of mega blocks mega constructs they have touched so many different ips in the past it's worth having a look you've collected T60 power armor in game. Now you can build them yourself. Create five distinct power armor figures with recreated paint jobs from Fallout 4. Each figure comes with a matching accessory for multiple posing options. This Amazon exclusive building. Come back it. Get back here. Slide it. Not, not long enough. This Amazon exclusive building set comes packaged in a Vault Tech inspired box for storage or to decorate your space. Collect the power. T60 Power Armor 5 Pack Action Figure Collection based on the hit game Fallout 4. And I think this is an Amazon exclusive. That's what the Amazon bot, uh, we, we asked the AI bot some questions and it said it was an Amazon exclusive. We'll see if that actually comes to play. But uh, a lot of the time these things are, you know, Amazon have a good working relationship with Mega. Don't know why my backgrounds, my sparkles keep on disappearing. Look at this box, right? Th that is so crazy how directly ripped from Fallout that is. In the next slide, you can see just how much. Like, look at that. That's 
like which one's the fallout crate and which one's the mega packaging because it's really difficult to tell like those are renders from in-game and that's the official set they look like they are all just the same beast like that is crazy so i guess these are not with the base game but with one of the add-ons just honestly so, so <laughs> i forgot i i forgot i was messing around with the animations <laughs> i guess the, there's your five characters wiggling about i thought i took that off honestly <laughs> that's kind of funny here's all the five accessories weird that there's only one gun. Really weird. I mean, maybe it was a molding uh, budget issue, but like, there's five of these power armors. You're gonna give us one shotgun? I mean, I get the flame job because it's with the hot rodder whole thing. You have to collect those magazines to get that uh, coating for your armor. Obviously the Nuka-Cola makes sense. The um, nuke would make more sense if it came with the fat boy or the, the, the skinny boy or whatever it's called. Um, little boy, little man. I mean, I would have still kept those five and still included some weapons. Bit of an odd choice, but there we are. So the power armor station is a crafting station specifically designed for power armor. You can modify power armor, repair power armors, and apply coatings, paints on power armor. Nice. So um, obviously anyone that's played Fallout 4, this is like absolute classic piece. It, it makes sense that we would have this, particularly if we are getting a set with five of these power armors, you want these power armor stations. The first one. So this is our first character. Comes with the Nuka Dark Cola. This is the T60 and this is the Rust, I guess. We, we just kind of figured that this was like the base rusty armor before you put a coating on because it does say hot rod flames, Brotherhood of Steel, Paladin Military and Rusty Paint Job. So I assume Rusty is just like the basic one. T60 Power Armor, in fact, soldiers in T60 Power Armor were amongst those trying to retain order on October 23rd, 2077, the day America fell to atomic war. Not so nice. Don't want to fall to Atomic War anytime soon. Thank you. Nuka-Cola Dark, the company's attempt at entering the alcoholic beverage market. So Nuka-Cola Dark was the alcoholic version. So this is the first time ever Mega has made an alcoholic beverage, probably. I don't think they've ever made a beer before. The beverage was touted as the most, get back here. The beverage was touted as the most thirst quenching way to unwind. Those partaking in the drink were recommended to not operate motor vehicles or heavy machinery for at least eight hours after drinking it. Okay, encourage women who are pregnant or planning on becoming pregnant to avoid the drink. Yeah, okay, that's alcohol. In the Fallout 4 Nuka World add-on. That's nice. Second one, we got a green boy. The military paint increases strength by one if all armor pieces are coated with paint that boosts strength. That's nice. So we got a green one, greeny boy. Let me know in the comments, are you a greeny boy fan? Uh, he comes with the mini nuke. The bomb that the green power armor is holding is the type of ammo used in the powerful fat man weapon or little boy weapon, not skinny boy, little boy. Um, yeah, strange to not include the weapon. That's all I'm saying. Like if you've got the nuke, include the weapon. It's just kind of weird that he's just holding the nuke. And then we got a blue one. Look at this metallic blue one. Doesn't it look nice? This is the vault tech paint and it comes with a shotgun. So it's the only one that could actually defend itself. Increase, well, I guess they punch. Increases charisma by one if all armor pieces are painted with charisma boosting paint. That's nice. And I gotta say the blue one, uh, it might be my favorite. Uh, I don't know, I go between that metallic, like Mega has always excelled at metallic. Uh, I don't think, does Lego even do metallic really? Um, they have a very, very strict color scheme Lego, so I don't know. Listen, I saw a lot of the comments on Twitter and stuff saying, oh, I cannot believe this wasn't Lego. Look at this thing. Lego can't produce anything like that. Like, like, let's just be real. Lego has its pros, but it cannot produce that. I, much better, much better in the hands of Mega. Okay, then we got the Hot Rodder, Hot Rod. The Hot Rod Flames paint is a paint scheme in Fallout 4 and several Creation Club purchases. Increases agility by one when all pieces are painted with agility boosting paint. That's nice. Hot Rod Flame paint, Fallout 4. It's funny that it's all based on Fallout 4, but then again, I guess it would have to be. Um, there was barely any, like, Fallout 4 is is the one. Um, it, it would have kind of made more sense to base this all on Fallout 76, but I don't know how many of these, like, paint apps are in Fallout 76. Um, also, that one is a prequel to all the others. Maybe they just wanted to, like, lock it in closer to the timeline of the TV show. But again, it's like perfect timing with these sets coming out and also the perfect opportunity to go all in and make a full line, but I don't know if they will. I'm, I'm skeptical. I feel like they're just gonna do this and move on, which would be a real shame. Hot Rodder is a pre-war magazine for automotive enthusiasts. How did it make it this far through uh, Atomic Wasteland? I don't know. By reading the Hot, Rod Hot Rodder magazine, the sole survivor is able to unlock a new custom paint job for power armor. 
That's pretty nice. There are three Hot Rodder magazine paint jobs, four with Creation Club. All of them grant a plus one agility bonus when painted on a full set of power armor. Cool. So the Hot Rodder magazine, cool to see, like, it seems like the main one, that flame job. I don't know, that that's issue one. So yeah, they've done issue one. That's pretty dope. Again, it's like, I don't know why there's no weapons. Also, it's in Fortnite. So we've officially got a mega Fortnite collaboration, not officially, but it's cool that that's in Fortnite and also in Mega and also in Fallout. So that's pretty crazy. We got we got a Fallout Mega, F Fortnite Mega before GTA 6. Um, look at this, beautiful. The Brotherhood of Steel. When all parts of the power armor are painted with a paint scheme that boosts strength, the armor provides a plus one bonus to strength. The pieces don't need to be all BOS types. Military paint will work as well. That's nice. Comes with the sugar bombs. Again, it's like, it's the Brotherhood of Steel. Should have come with a big weapon, but that's just me. Sugar bombs are consumable in Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4, and Fallout 76. So I guess that's the most consistent um, between all of these games, probably. 327 pieces for 30 bucks is actually a really good deal. It is available on Amazon right now, only on Amazon US. I don't know if it's gonna like, I've seen listings on Amazon Canada and Amazon France, so I feel like it's gonna get stuck in all of those respective countries eventually. Right now it's just for pre-order on Amazon. I've left my affiliate link down below. If you enjoyed this scrambly video, um, then maybe you'd appreciate using my affiliate link. It costs you the same price, but I actually take a bit of the money from Amazon, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, let me know what you think down below. What are the improvements that could be made? What did they absolutely nail here? I mean, no one is contesting the fact that these minifigures look epic. Should they have come with different accessories? Sure, um, maybe something slightly, I don't know. I like it for what it is. Um, I especially like that you can display them all together. It's like a full like Mega Constructs Black Series, like individual carded figures, just all together. And again, it's like, if you just want one, just buy the collection and then sell them individually on eBay for like six bucks and you will make your money back. Um, and they look awesome. Just let's hope it's not a one and done deal. Let's hope there are more. Let me know down below what your set ideas would be. Maybe if that gets enough traction, I might do a set ideas video in the future. I enjoyed doing one with Helldive as a while back. And as always, thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain. Got some really cool videos coming up. I just finished my massive light box. Uh, which is going to take me into the future, make me be able to show off these sets in l just gorgeous detail. And uh, yeah, the, uh, the sky's the limit. I'll see you next time, folks. Domain out.